Hi there, welcome to the Endless Tech and Gaming channel. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and build a $500 gaming PC for 2023. Let's go. Before we start building, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the parts that's actually going into this PC. This is the 10th Gen Core i5 10400F. It does not have integrated graphics, so you need a discrete graphics card for this one. It has the base speed of 2.9 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.3 gigahertz. Motherboard that we chose for this CPU is the MSI H510M Pro. Uh, the reason why is we're going for a budget build and this will actually uh, be the perfect size for this case that we're actually going to talk about here in a little bit. The RAM that we chose for this one is the silicon power uh, 2x8 gigabytes clocked at 3200 megahertz. The drive that we're going to be using for this one is the silicon power also. This is the Gen 3 NVMe SSD. And then for the power supply we chose the Corsair VS650. This one's 650 watt power supply should be more than enough to power this whole thing. The GPU that we chose for this one is the GeForce GTX 1660 Super. Case, this is the Apivia Prodigy uh, RGB case. So let's get building. First item we're gonna grab is the motherboard. This is the MSI H510. It's a micro ATX motherboard. It actually comes with the IO shield and the box and then all the necessary screws I actually got this off uh, Amazon warehouse it's a pretty good deal there it is so before we even get everything installed into the PC we're gonna install a lot of the components into this motherboard as much as we can so when we put in this motherboard into the case will have less things to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is put in the CPU. We're gonna try and match the notches on the CPU right here. Relatively easy. Okay. You don't need to attach anything on the back of it. And that's it all right we're gonna go ahead and install it on the only two available slots that's on this available on this motherboard it's one that's two all right next order of business is the NVMe SSD it's actually gonna get installed in here there's already the screw that's holding the bracket for the NVMe drive and it's fairly easy to install That's it. Everything that should be installed in the motherboard is installed now. So let's get this motherboard installed into the case. All right, before we install the motherboard into the case, we're gonna put this IO shield in. Then install the motherboard into the case. It should actually line up with the IO shield. There we go. This is going to be a little bit difficult installing the motherboard into the case sideways, so bear with me here. 
Next order of business, installing the power supply. We'll line up these holes right here with the ones with the power supply. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the power cable installed here. Eight pin CPU cable on top. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna leave this one for the graphics card right here. Then to power the fans, we're gonna have to connect this connector here in the back. Obviously you guys won't see it from there, but we'll connect it anyway. Now the last thing we gotta install is the GPU, the 1660 Super. There you go, nice. And we get to connect the 8-pin power cable for it. And then just tuck the excess wire inside the case. And let's tighten it up. Now let's see if this thing will power on. All right, let's see if this will work. Turn it on first try. Oh yeah, look at that. She looks nice. Oh, food cycle maybe? Yep, it's doing all the checks right there. Looks like we're good to go. Now we just gotta get now we just gotta get Windows installed in this thing. Alright, let's install Windows. Next install. I don't have a product key yet, but we'll get to that here shortly. And then we're going to select Windows 10 Pro and then say next. Make sure you accept the license terms. And then what we're going to do on this one, instead of doing an upgrade because it's a brand new uh, computer, we're going to do custom install. And then this is the only drive that's pretty much available. So we'll go with that one, say next. And that's it. Windows is installed. And all you got to do is follow this prompt and then uh, Make sure you activate it and then it's ready to go. Now that the PC is complete, built, we've already set up Windows on it. Now it's time to actually set up some games, but this is actually for a customer. So we're gonna go ahead and sell it to him and have a little bit of profit, but just a little bit. This is actually a build and flip series. So stay tuned. So hopefully we can get some more uh, content for you guys. Uh, if you haven't done it, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can get notified if there's a new video coming out. Um, and also I do stream some games uh, every so often. I usually start around uh, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So go check that out. And if you haven't done it, go ahead and uh, watch those videos. Until next time, keep building and keep flipping.